guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here hi my name is Kylie also known as Fiendella here on the internet and today I am going to be decluttering some more of my makeup collection and we're gonna do some complexion products make sure that you subscribe down below if you haven't already and hit the little notification bell if you want to know when I post, make sure that you like this video if you want to see more content like this from me. And make sure you leave me a comment down below letting me know what you want to see me do next. So without further ado, let's just get right into this declutter before it gets too long. Okay, so I took all my single bronzers and blushes out of my drawer to make it a little easier to grab. So that is what you see all around here. So let's just get into this because I have quite a bit going on here and I'm not going to talk too much about every product. I'm pretty much just going to show it and say whether or not I'm keeping it or decluttering it. Some stuff I might speak on a little bit, but I want to keep it to a minimum to avoid this getting super long. So first, this is a Kevin Aquan blush. It is the Liqui Fuchsia blush in hot pink. It's a cream blush. I swatched it not gonna keep it. This is another Kevin Aquan blush. This is the Pure Powder Glow in Shador, which is a soft pink. Not gonna keep this either. I've never used it. Okay, this is the Note Blush in Desert Rose. This one I do like the color of and I like the formula, so I'm gonna keep this guy. This is the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso, a classic. I believe they reformulated it. This is the OG and I'm going to keep it. This is the Rude Cosmetics Baked Highlighter in One in a Million. Not going to keep it. This is an old Bare Minerals Blush in Dusty Garnet and I'm going to declutter that. It's super old so it's probably going to go in the garbage. This is the Sephora Golden Hour Highlighter in Dusk. I've panned this. I really love this highlighter. I haven't used it in a bit, but I am going to keep it. This is the K Voss Fairy Dust Pressed Highlighter in Moonlight. I just recently got this and it's pretty and I'm going to keep it. This is one of the old Kat Von D duos and this one is in Morticia and Gomez. That's really cute. A little Adams Family thing but I am gonna get rid of this guy. It's really old and I haven't used it in a really long time. You could use them together separately but that guy can go. This is a phase zero blush in cotton candy. I have a really hard time opening this. Yeah no I'm not gonna break a nail for it but I'm gonna get rid of it. This is a Naked Cosmetics single eyeshadow in Mother Nature, and I use this as a highlighter. Super pretty, gonna keep it. This is the Tarte Blush in Party, and I'm gonna keep it. This is the Kaja Cheeky Stamp in 04 Feisty. I haven't used this more than one or two times, but I think I'm going to keep it for now, and if I don't use it, that will get decluttered later. These are both Too Faced blushes, one in Love Flush, or sorry, one in Your Love is King, and one is Justify My Love. I haven't really used them at all, I don't think, so I will not miss them. They can go. This is the NARS Super Orgasm Illuminator. I use this as a blush. Pretty sure it's supposed to be a liquid highlighter, but I do like this. It can stay. This is the Milk Makeup uh, Holographic Highlighter in Stardust. I haven't used it, no interest in it. I still have the box, so it can go. This is the ABH Blush Trio in Cocktail Party and I'm gonna keep this to my makeup for the month. This is the Benefit Box Blush in Bella Bomba. This used to be my favorite blush and it's also in my makeup of the month so it is gonna stay. This is the MAC Iridescent Press Powder and this one is in the shade Ice. I'm pretty sure this was discontinued. It's a really pretty 
pinky highlighter, but it's really old, so I'm ready to throw that out. This is the Milani highlighter. It's missing the thing at the back, um, so I don't know what shade it is, but I really like this. It's a really good highlighter at the drugstore, so I'm going to keep it. This is the Laura Geller Baked Mediterranean Bronzer in Moroccan Bronze. I really like this. I'm going to keep it. This is the Laura Geller Baked Blush and Brighten in Tropic Hues, and I'm going to keep this as well. This is the Quo Do It All Highlighter. I'm pretty sure this only came in one shade, but this is really beautiful for a kind of wet look, and I'm going to keep it. This is the Smashbox Blush Soft Lights Duo in Passion and Shimmer, and I'm going to keep that. I actually thought about it the other day and reached for it, so that can stay. This is the Milk Makeup Liquid Strobe in Aura, and I tried using this. I'm not a huge fan, so it can go. This is a Lancome Pressed Pigment but I use it as a highlighter. It's in my makeup for the month, so it can stay for now. Okay, this is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess. This is just a mini, but this can stay. I really like it. This is a powder I forgot to include before, and this is the Locket Brightening Powder in Peach. This is much better for deeper skin tones, so I'm gonna get rid of that. This is new. This is from Kaleido Cosmetics, and it's the blush in Prima Donna. I haven't even gotten to use this yet, but it looks really nice, so I'm going to keep it. These are both from Kevin Aquan. It's from this little trio that came with a powder, a bronzer, and a blush, I think. This is the highlighter. It's got two sides to it. I'm going to keep this for now, and if I don't use it, it can go. And then this is the blush and bronzer. So you got a blush and then it's kind of like a bronzer on that side. And same for this. I'm going to keep it for now. I already decluttered some of my Too Faced bronzers. These are the two that I decided to keep. I've got the original Chocolate Soleil and it can stay. And then this is the Beach Bunny and it can also stay. Actually, I'm going to put the Chocolate Soleil aside for right now because I have it in a duo as well. So this is going to go to the side for now. Don't know where the side's going to be. Right there. Sure. Okay. This is another Anastasia Trio. This one is in Pool Party and this one can go. It's just a little bit too dusty for me in tone. This is the Pretty Vulgar Bronzed Bee in Sunkissed Snitch. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass to open, but I do really like this. It's a nice cool tone, so this is actually a really nice contour for me, and I'm going to keep that. This is from Cargo Cosmetics, and it is the Contour Palette in Monaco. It's got a highlight, a cheek blush, and a contour, and this can go. It's not very pigmented. I'll probably just throw that out. I don't want to give that to anyone. This is the Bare Minerals Invisible Glow in Fair Delight. It is like a little baked highlighter. I really love this. Stay. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Blush in Mauve. I haven't even used this. It can go to somebody else. This is the Estate Baked Blush in Doomy, and it can stay. I haven't used that yet. This is my favorite blush. This is from Lancome, and it is the Blush Sotile Creme in Coral Alize, and it can stay. <laughs> that rhymed. This is the Ardus Couture Loose Highlighter, and this one is in Purple Dream. It's in my makeup of the month right now, so it can stay for now. This is a little baby NARS blush, and this is in Orgasm. It can stay. This is the Gigi Gorgeous Press Powder. It can stay. This is the Wet n Wild Loose Highlighter in Hustle and Glow. It's pretty gold. It can stay for now. It's also in my makeup for the month. 
These are some more loose highlighters, so we'll go through them all. This is a mini from Artist Couture and Illuminati. It can stay. I really like it. These are both from AOA Studios, which is a brand at Shop Miss A. And these are the Pow Lighters, and I've got them in the shade Nebula and Cosmos. This one's kind of like a goldy, and this is kind of a pinky. I'm going to keep the shade in Nebula, which is the goldy one, and I'm going to get rid of the one in Cosmos. I don't really like pinky highlighters anymore. This is from Marc Jacobs, and it is the powder in 600 Cocoa, and I use this as a bronzer. You can see I've used it quite a bit, and it can stay. And I kind of just skipped over these two loose ones again. I can tell you right now that I'm going to keep them both. This is the ColourPop and Becky G collaboration. It's in the shade Chisma, and this is Santorini from Kylie, and they're both staying. This is the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter in Trophy Wife. I haven't actually decided whether or not I want to keep it, which is why I've kept it in the box, but I think I am going to keep it though. It is a very popular shade and it's nice to have even just to compare it. It's super glittery too, which I kind of like. Some people don't, but I like a glittery highlight from time to time. And I'll do my other Fenty Beauty highlight while we're here. This is the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt in Mean Money and Hustla Baby, and this is definitely staying. Two colored rain highlighters. This one is in Selfie, and this one is in No Flash Needed. I'm keeping both of these. I love them both, but especially the one in No Flash Needed. This is from Miniso. I like a lot of their makeup, and this is the Flawless Ombre Highlighter in Copper, and it's kind of like a two-sided one, and I'm going to keep this super blinding. Kind of reminds me of the Ofra Highlighters. This is the Gigi Gorgeous Highlighter, the only blush in Authentic. I love this blush. It is staying. And I also have the highlighter, and this is in the Get Lit, keeping that. I bought the whole collection because I really love Gigi. This is also from Miniso, and this is the One Plus One Radiance Boosting Blusher. I've used this once. It's more of a highlighter or a like blush topper, um, and I'm going to get rid of this. It's just too glittery for me. This is the Basic Beauty Jelly Blush in its October 3rd. It can go. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills and On Breezy Highlighter. Definitely keeping this. This is what I was talking about earlier. This is um, a Too Faced duo with the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and the Angel Wings Highlighter. Um, from the Christmas set from this year. I'm gonna put this aside for right now and decide which one I'm gonna keep later. This is... Let me do all my Ofra stuff right now, actually. Where is all my Ofra stuff? I've got a few Ofra highlighters. Let me just locate all of them. They are here somewhere. Uh, I think these are the only ones I have in singles, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, these are the only ones I have in singles, so let's do all of these guys. So this is the bronzer in Americano. It's staying. This is the Ofra and Nikki Tutorials Highlighter in Glow Goals. Staying. This is the Madison Miller uh, All You Need Is Love Blush. Staying. And then this is the highlighter in Retrograde. It's one of their half pans. Uh, I can't remember what the names of the two individual ones are, but I love this and it is also staying. I really like this packaging from them as well. Okay, I've got two AOA Studios Lumi Radiant Blushes. I'm only gonna keep one of them. I have Ravish and So Close. This one is more of a berry mauve kind of color and then this one is a bit brighter I'm gonna keep this one 
and the one in So Close can go. This is also from Shop Miss A. This is from Amuse Cosmetics. It's just a blush and highlighter duo, and it is the number one shade. It can go. I'm not a huge fan of that. This is from Becca. This is the Luminous Blush and Tiger Lily. It can stay. This is the Ciate Marbled Light in Dusk, and it can stay. This is just a Baby Hourglass blush, and this one is the Mood Exposure, which can stay. This is the Natasha Denona Glow Gold Duo. Looks like that. It was from her gold collection from this year, and unlike some people, I actually really liked this. I have two of them, one for me and one for a giveaway that I will be doing on this channel once I hit a thousand subscribers, so make sure you subscribe, but this isn't going anywhere. I really like that. And then this is the Little Baby Diamond and Glow. She looks like this. I'm going to keep this, but I'm going to put it in my eyeshadows, actually, because I really like these on the eyes, but they're not really my shades for the cheeks. This is a highlighter from IBY, and it's in the shade Private Jet, and it's staying super beautiful. This is from Lovecraft Beauty. I think this is a blush. Let me see. Ah, oh, right, this is the shade not on here. Uh, can't tell you. I'll probably flash it on the screen here. I got this in Ipsy. It's a really neutral -y shade that could kind of be a bronzer on me. I haven't tried it on the cheeks yet, but it's super soft, so I'm going to try this and keep it for now. This is the Laura Mercier highlighter in Seduction, and it looks like this. It's really pretty, and it's kind of like a bronzy gold color. I use this to mix with my super light highlighters, so I'm going to keep this for now. I don't get a lot of use out of it, but I do like it. This is the Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur in Mauve Sunrise. This is a little baby guy. It's super pretty. I'm going to keep it for right now. Might depot that. This is the Kaja Mochi Glow, and this one is in the shade Prism. Super pretty for every day. Definitely gonna keep that. And this is the Marcel Bronzer in Amazon Heat. This is one of my favorite bronzers, so it's definitely staying. And then I've got some stuff from Fenty over here. This is the Matchsticks and Blonde. I haven't even taken it out of the box because I'm decluttering that. It's kind of like the Matchsticks version of the Trophy Wife highlighter. And then I also have, just while we're doing this, this is the Invisimat Blotting Papers, and I'm going to keep this. Okay, and then we'll just go over to this guy. So this is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer by itself. And this is the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer with the Angel Wings Highlighter. They kind of look different when I have them side by side. So I just kind of want to swatch it. Interesting. This one's actually coming off a lot cooler. I don't know if you can see the difference there. This one's kind of lighter. And that one's darker. Hmm. It's kind of weird. But I do remember liking this highlighter. And they both take up the same amount of room. Oof. I don't like keeping limited edition things around. And this packaging is really, really flimsy. Like, it's kind of cheap versus this. So I think I'm going to declutter this one, even though it kind of hurts my soul because it's really cute and I'm gonna keep this one. I'm really fair so I don't want, I don't like a super pigmented bronzer. So this guy is gonna work better for me. So I'm going to keep that. And then I've got some liquid products over here and sticks. This is the Anastasia Stick Foundation in Mink. This is a stick contour in their famous mink shade, and I'm gonna keep that. 
And let me do my other ABH products. So I've got three of their liquid glows. And I'm going to keep these two. This is an Oyster and Peach Fizz. And this one's too dark for me. This is in bronzed. So that can go. These can stay. This is the Stila Stay All Day 10 in 1 HD Bronzing Beauty Balm. It's a long ass name, but I do really like this liquid bronzer. It can stay. This is the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops, and this one is in the shade N60. This is what I use to darken foundations that are too light, and I can also use this as a bronzer, so this is staying. My Cover FX Glitter Drops in Nova. These can stay, they're super pretty. And then this is a little baby Mary Duminizer from the Balm, and this can also stay. So that is all my single products. I didn't get rid of as much as I wanted to get rid of, but I did get rid of quite a few things over here. So I am happy with that for right now. I might declutter some stuff over the course of the month. And if I do, I will update you guys when I do my May makeup update at the beginning of June. But for now, that is everything. Thank you guys so much for decluttering with me. I hope that you guys enjoyed this installment of my quarantine clear out. Uh, make sure that you subscribe, hit the bell, hit the like button, and leave me a comment down below. I love to hear from you guys and I want to hear what you guys want to see from me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!